It is time for our interesting stories chat with Mr. Richard Southern. And uh, this seems like something you'd probably want to avoid, Richard. Uh, NASA is planning to fly straight into an asteroid. And Bruce Willis is not involved in this, by no, the way. No, no. But this is something that like Hollywood has talked about and dreamt about for mm -hmm. a long time. How do we stop an asteroid if it's coming right for us? Right. NASA, in less than an hour, is going to try and see if they can nudge an asteroid out of the way. Fortunately, this asteroid in question, which is 11 million kilometers away, is not coming for us, Erica. But they want to see if one was, could they move it a, a little bit away from the Earth. So they're going to smash an unmanned spacecraft at 7.14 this evening into this asteroid that's 11 million kilometers away. The asteroid, by the way, called Dimorphos. It's, it's 160 meters across. And they're going to measure, hey, are we able to move this enough whereby it would miss Earth? And if they are successful, this would be the first time that humankind has changed the direction of a celestial body. How well, crazy is that? That is crazy. I was actually watching an interview with Neil deGrasse Tyson the other day, and he said they're making it safe so that no matter which direction this, you know, the, uh, the rocks go. It's not going to come here. That's what they nudged it towards us. Whoopsies. Yeah, no, oopsies. Yeah, no, they, they've taken that into consideration. Okay, speaking of outer space, the U.S. government seems to be le lending credence to the existence of UFOs. This came to light over the weekend. A U.S. government agency, government agency, changed its logo. This mm. a, they, they measure uh, aircraft and went, look what they put in here. Little it's a little UFO. UFO. Yeah. Okay. Um, Everyone's saying, well, this is quite interesting. This agency in question is called the National Intelligence Manager of Aviation, and it deals with matters related to U.S. aviation. And yes, it came to light over the weekend. Their logo now includes a, a UFO. Uh, they haven't commented on the reasons for that, but the new logo does come as the U.S. military and other government agencies around the world have been forced to acknowledge that they have detected objects they can't explain, like what we're looking at here in 2019. The U.S. Navy confirmed that these videos showing unknown objects were being tracked by pilots and were legit. So that's pretty mm, something, a U.S. government right agency. Right into the logo. Look yeah. at that. Mm. Okay, finally, two baseball players ended up getting tossed from a game over the weekend for a very bizarre reason. Yeah, maybe Richard. the silliest reason ever to get kicked out of a game. It was former Blue Jay pitcher Robbie Ray. There's Robbie on the right. And uh, Mr. Weaver from the opposing team. And they got in a stare-off during the national anthem. They wouldn't stop looking at each other. And it continued well into the after the anthem, and they both got kicked out of the game hmm. for that, Erica. I've never heard of that before. but Fortunately, you know, we, we wouldn't go down such roads. We're, we're much more serious when it comes to our work. Always. Always, as you can see by our very serious story meeting that we do right before. <laughs> All right, 640, most interesting stories chat. We're one story short We today. are one story short. Uh, we have the UFO story again. What do you want to do? How about a stare-off, a classic stare-off? I don't think people would be interested in that, Richard. It is a little Honestly. bit silly, a little bit yeah. silly, isn't it? I think... I think You're I blinked. Yeah, well, I definitely blinked. That was masterful editing, by the way, because we couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> Doing that trans steering contest. I haven't done that in years. Okay, thanks, Richard. Great seeing you in studio. Good seeing you, Erica. Good seeing you too. <laughs> See you tomorrow.